So let's talk about isotopes. What are isotopes? Isotopes are elements having the same atomic number. So elements having the same atomic number but different atomic mass. So what does it mean that the elements have the same atomic number? This means that they have the same number of protons, also the same number of electrons. Okay, but different Atomic mass. And what is atomic mass? We said that it's the number of nucleons or the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Well, if they have the same number of protons but different number of neutrons, that means that the only factor that's changing is the number of neutrons. So basically, isotopes have the same number of protons, but different number of neutrons. Now, let's take a look here. Well, this picture demonstrates the two isotopes of chlorine. Chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. Let's see. It says about 75 of naturally occurring chl chlorine is chlorine 35. That's the one we find in the periodic table. And 25% is chlorine 37. Now it says here, chlorine 35, it classifies. There are 17 protons, 18 neutrons, and 17 electrons. And same goes for the 37. There's 17 protons, but 20 neutrons. See, this is the difference. This is the difference. So, different number of neutrons. And there's also 17 electrons. Now, now we're going to discuss something called the average atomic mass denoted by AR. Now the average atomic mass is basically getting coming up with an average for the atomic mass of both isotopes. Now how do we calculate that? Well it's not very simple as finding the mean of both like adding both number 35 plus 37 and dividing by 2. No it won't be this simple. Well, let's see what we're going to do about this. Well, in order to calculate the average atomic mass, first we have to make an assumption. So first step is making an assumption. And this assumption is having a sample of 100 atoms. Now, if we have a sample of 100 atoms and Chlorine 35 has a percentage of 75 abundance, so that means there's 75 atoms of chlorine 35. So chlorine 35. And there's 25 atoms of chlorine 37. Now Let's see what's going to happen. Now, the next step you're going to do is you're going to multiply the 75 by the 35. So, 75 times 35, and then you're going to add this to the 25 atoms times the atomic mass of chlorine 37. And let's calculate this. So get the calculator and do this calculation by yourself. So 75 times 35 and you add this to 25 times 37. Now you're going to get that 3550. Now the third step you're going to do is you're going to divide this number by 100. So 3550 3, divided by 100 is... 35.5 atomic mass units 
So this is the average number for both isotopes, the average atomic mass for both the isotopes of chlorine. Now let's recap. Well, we said isotopes are elements having the same atomic number, which means having the same number of protons and electrons, but different atomic mass. And the atomic mass, we said, it's the number of nucleons, and the nucleons is basically protons plus neutrons. So isotopes differ in the number of neutrons. Now, we went over the isotopes of chlorine and we discussed something called the average atomic mass. And in order to calculate the average atomic mass, we said it's not going to be the simple arithmetic operation of calculating a mean. Well, because they're both naturally, naturally occur at different percentages, we have to multiply the atomic mass of each by the number of atoms assuming there is 100 atoms for simplicity so and we calculated accordingly so that's that for this video i hope this video made it clear for you guys on what's the meaning of isotopes and how do you solve questions regarding the average atomic mass of isotopes. So stay tuned for the next videos. We're going to continue our discussion of atomic chemistry. So good luck and thanks for watching.